Hi there. Welcome to this training session on the Foundry's Katana. My name is Matt Barker. I'm a 3D artist working for Intraware Australia. Katana is Foundry's powerful look development and lighting tool. And on our channel you'll find uh, some Katana overview videos, uh, some very quick introductions to using Katana. There's the I Want a Pony demo there. It's a good start if you have no idea what Katana's about. Um, but with this series of videos, I hope to give you a much clearer insight as to how to assemble a katana scene or recipe and show how to take advantage of some of katana's really powerful workflows. The project I'm using for this series is a enchanted forest scene here I've created for a short little CG animation and it's utilizing some assets that I've created there as well as um, Quixel's mega scans as well. So I just thought I'd give a quick Shout out to Quicks on Megascans, great for if you've got environments and need uh, physically based things thrown together. So uh, we're going to be using Katana 2.5 v5. We're going to be using Renderman for Katana 21.3, that's the latest at time of recording. Uh, but overall there's not going to be too much Renderman sp specific stuff, so if you're using V-Ray for Katana or Arnold, you're still going to learn an, an absolute bunch. Um, and in the future, there'll, there'll no doubt be some Arnold and V-Ray videos for me to clear up some of the things that are specific to those renderers. So the topics we're going to cover across this series of videos. Um, we're going to do, we're going to start with a UI video, how to navigate, customize your Katana UI, uh, commonly used tabs, how to create your own layouts and save and switch between those. Just get comfortable overall with driving around the UI. Then uh, Katana features, uh, recipes and scene overview. So what is a recipe in Katana? An overview of the project uh, we're going to use, that one I've prepared earlier. And uh, how we can use these recipes or scripts uh, as a template and demonstrate how that loads. Um, so the third video we're going to do on importing and loading assets. So with that, uh, we're going to look at how deferred loading works, how to work with proxy meshes, and a whole bunch of the nodes for loading assets, and uh, how fast it can it can load and work in Katana. They're going to look at uh, creating material networks, how that works, how we interface with uh, different third-party renderers, and how Katana talks to those materials. Then we're going to look at CEL language and, and how you assign materials with, uh, with a CEL language inside of Katana, a whole video just for that. Looking at lighting in Katana, although Katana is predominantly a, a lighting tool, the lighting portion of, of this is going to be fairly straightforward, how to place lights, what the nodes are to use with it, and a bunch of tips. Uh, it's not going to be... Um, a traditional sort of lighting tutorial, just more around the tools in Katana. So how we render in Katana, we're going to cover uh, all the different types of rendering, disk, live, preview, we're going to look at some of the 2D features, looking at the monitor in Katana, so the rendering video will, will cover a lot of that stuff. We're going to look at graph state variables. So in graph state variables we can make these awesome switches all over our script and work with multiple shots. Uh, it's a, probably the most powerful feature in Katana. I really like showing off that one. Uh, we have uh, collaboration in Katana. So we're going to look at live groups and how they work and uh, some uh, tips on look files. Uh, interactive render filters, how to set those up, and um, AOVs, so how to do passes inside of Katana. And then for a, a final one, I want to show some of the uh, features you can do when working in, in Katana to speed up your workflow by showing you how to make a macro uh, and uh, build up your own little workflows as you go to make your day a lot faster and productive. So a lot of topics there, just a bit of an overview, but that's uh, what I plan to go through in these videos. And uh, thanks for having a look at the video. Let's get started on the first one, which will be setting up your workspace and UI in Katana. Thank you very much.